Good morning, guys. It's a girls' weekend. Yay! <laughs> Um, I'm making my way to Aura Tambo. I'm in the half train right now. I almost missed the train. But um, we're going to Cape Town, we're going to Franschhoek, we're going to Stellenbosch. We're going to do so many exciting things. So I'm so excited for you guys to tag along. Hi guys, we've made it to Cape Town. I'm not alone. I'm with the girls. We have Namfondo, Fluffy. Busi, who's flying in from the east, aka Durban, and, <laughs> and Kanyo is behind the camera. <laughs> it's cool. Okay, so we've just left the airport, and the plan for today is just to go to Simon's Town and check out the Penguin Colony at Boulder's Beach, and then we will spend the day exploring Cape Point and then we will drive to Franchuk. After you park at the parking, um, you pay 40 Rand an adult to get in. Then you walk along this boardwalk. It's about a kilometer, but it's flat. It's a nice, easy walk. Um, there are penguins there as well that you can see as you're walking along. So it's, it's a beautiful view. There's lots of picture points. And then once you get here, which is like the information center, um, you walk, you carry on walking straight, and then that is where your money shot is. to go paragliding on Monday but the company that we paragliding with just called us and said that on Monday the weather won't be the greatest so they asked if we could paraglide this afternoon which we can so we are now driving back to Cape Town. <music> just made a stop at one of the viewing points on Chapman's Peak. Oh, the views on this road are amazing but the road itself it's yeah it's the road is narrow it's windy so drive carefully but the views are so worth it. Take a look. So we're here, we're about to casually jump off a mountain, no big deal. <laughs> I'm not nervous yet. I think it's because I didn't think I was paragliding today, so I didn't have time to get nervous about it. But yeah, I'm gonna need my glasses because I don't want them falling and yeah, because I can't see without them. So remember men, don't sit. Just run. Yeah, stay on your feet. Okay, each one is dog board. Go, 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 go. Oh, my shoe! I, it's fine, I was stuck in the door. Nice. Woohoo! Did you lose your shoe? Yes! Don't worry, now set it down on the next one. <laughs> Missing shoe and all. Very nice. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Great stuff. Yeah. That was amazing. After paragliding, we got something to eat and then we drove to our Airbnb. Good morning! Today is the second day of our girls trip. We're staying in Franschhoek and today we will be doing the wine tram. We'll be drinking some wines because we are the girls. And the girl. So Franschhoek is about an hour outside of Cape Town. We arrived quite late last night so we actually didn't see what the area looks like. So I can't wait to actually go outside outside and explore the town a bit. Um, we're staying at an Airbnb. I'll give you guys a tour a bit later on. 
but yeah our airbnb host is the sweetest she's so sweet and she basically told us that we can walk around so we're gonna leave our car here we're gonna walk to the wine tram and we're just gonna explore the town by foot which i personally think is the best way to explore a new place Okay, so we made it to our first stop. Um, we actually almost missed the tram. So it is walking distance from where we're staying, but we we're walking in the wrong direction. So by the time that we actually made it to where we were supposed to be, the bus was literally leaving. Um, this is basically the wine tram is a hop on, hop off experience. You choose a line and then it takes you to different wine estates. Um, we are at the first stop, which is Le Bleu. We are eating some breakfast because we need to line these stomachs before we start the drinking. But yeah, let me go eat. <laughs> so good. I can't deal so with you. Are we supposed to swallow? So we are now at Boschendal. We skipped Psalms Delta as you guys saw because somebody was excited for the bubbles. Ah! <laughs> um, so we actually decided to skip the places, not all of them, but we're going to spend less time at the places that we're not excited about and more time at the places that we are. So for Fluffy, it's Boschendal. For me, it's Babylon Store and it speaks to me. I've never been there, but I love the whole concept. And then can you wants to go to Placer. Petite Placer. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. It's French, but yeah. But she wants to spend more time here. So now we're going to go um, taste the MCC under a 300-year-old oak, oak tree, tree in front of the oldest building in the whole estate. And so we're just going to go there and we're going to... No, wait, but then we should have like a French accent. So we're going to go there and we're going to drink <laughs> uh, oui. the, the MCC. Is your boo-boo? And yeah, let's go. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. <laughs> so, Flav, which one are you going to do? Are you going to be cheap like V and do the chocolate pairing, or are you going to go for the full experience? Um, which guy's decision? <laughs> I'm going to go for the full one. Yeah. I was looking forward to this. Bougie. <laughs> Bougie. <laughs> I think I'm going to be like you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we budget conscious, guys. Can yep, you? <laughs> yep, yep. Oh. Full red wine tasting. Yes. She's got the coins in the group, guys. <laughs> Okay, so we are doing the MCC wine and chocolate pairing. So you're supposed to take two sips of this so that your palate gets used to the taste and then you take a bite from the chocolate. So here we go. Yeah. Darlings, we are on the wine tram. So after Boschendal, you use the buses and you get onto the wine tram. You get some complimentary rosé from a Le Bleu. It's delicious. We are now on to Le Bleu Le Bleu Le Bleu, Le Bleu Plaisir de Merle. We are at Plessis de Merleur. I'm so sure that I'm still saying that incorrectly, but here we are. So I had the fudge pairing, which obviously I'm always going to choose the sweet option if there ever is one. Busi had the gin tasting, Fluffy had the nougat tasting, and Kanyo as always is the red wine tasting. 
So what you would have noticed is that most of these estates have French names. And that's because Franchoc actually has ties to French origin. Back in the 1600s, the French Huguenots, I think that's how you pronounced it, landed in Cape Town. And the Dutch settlers here gave their land to the French. And Franchoc actually means French corner in Dutch. So that is why, probably, I'm not sure why these estates have French names like I still can't pronounce Le Plisseur de la Mer de Merle. I still can't pronounce the name of this place. Guys, we are at Babylon Store and I've been waiting for this place the whole day. I'm so excited I'm here. The reason why I like this place so much is because of its whole sustainable vibe. I'm so excited to be here and just to explore the whole property. I've never been here, but the way that I've just hyped it up in my head, I hope it lives up to the excitement. But yeah, let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> Place is absolutely beautiful I would definitely definitely come back here without a doubt it lived up to all the hype and all the expectations that I had probably if I came back I'd want to spend the night because you can book accommodation on the property there's just so much to see I didn't get time to spend it all I will try to come back another day maybe tomorrow I'm not sure it just depends on our schedule but yeah honestly highly highly recommend coming here if you are in the area but now the issue that we have is that we don't know if we missed the last tram or not. <laughs> we kind of like the last ones here. So we're just waiting at the bus stop and we hope that there is a tram that will show up or else we'll have to hire an Uber. But I'm not sure if there is an Uber or not. But yeah, let's see. Yes, it's here. We are not stranded. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.